An evening chat with Ryan Segura. Hola, mis amigos. Another day, another migraine. But hey, at least we're all in this together. I want to talk to you guys about 1977's Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Steven Spielberg's second motion picture release after Jaws. If I'm being honest, it's my personal favorite of his. I'll go even further. Close Encounters of the Third Kind is one of my all-time favorite movies, period. The essential premise of the film centers around multiple UFO sightings, and we see how multiple people come across and deal with their close encounter. <laughs> Spielberg once talked about how he doesn't think he has a particular style, at least how Alfred Hitchcock, Brian De Palma, or Stanley Kubrick have their own signature styles. Well, in the case of Close Encounters, I feel he has a style, but it doesn't dominate the story. Rather, I consider it to be the inverse. Spielberg, who also wrote the film's screenplay, something he's only done twice since with AI and The Fablements, he takes what could be a serious thriller and turns it into an awe-inspiring spectacle. Two of the biggest standouts are the score and the visuals. This was John Williams' second collaboration with Spielberg after Jaws, and his score can only be described as epic. It's tied together with the visuals for the aliens and ships, creating a sense of mystery, sometimes danger. But in the end, a feeling of awe. Personally, I consider this to be a film of an ensemble cast. There's no real main character, at least in the conventional way. But if you wanted to make a case, then Richard Dreyfuss' character, Roy, would be the, the audience surrogate, the character who sees the events as we do. His character arc has been the subject of debate with Spielberg admitting now that if he made the film today, he would have gone a completely different direction with Roy's character. Okay, I'm not gonna be a douche and spoil the ending, but I'll say I understand where he's coming from, where everybody's coming from. As for me, I personally don't see it happening any other way. I feel the way Roy's character went to the end of the movie is the only way it could have gone. As a result, I consider his art to be a sort of cautionary tale. It's, it's really hard to talk about the film without spoilers, and I don't want to reveal the film's ending. But from my eyes, going in blind is the way to go. If I were to talk about the ending, then I'm worried the magic of it will be lost. But I think I've gushed about Close Encounters enough, so hopefully you'll check it out. And if I'm being honest, I don't think I did a good job describing how just incredible this movie is. So I simply beg that you watch for yourself. And while we're at it, I highly recommend watching the two video special on YouTube called Steven Spielberg, 30 Years of Close Encounters. It's a two-parter on YouTube where the director is interviewed about the film for its then 30th anniversary release. He talks about how it came together from his inspirations on the film to how he perceives the film uh, at that current time. It's always fascinating to hear filmmakers speak on their own projects. And it's where most of my references came from. But that's it for this video, guys. Please, please let us know in the comments below what you think about Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Is it your favorite Spielberg movie? If not, what is your favorite? Whatever your thoughts, just leave a comment. In the meantime, please stay tuned for more videos and interviews. Bye, guys.